The House Oversight Committee unveiled new details from its investigation into the Biden family business deals. They say they found the creation of more than 20 companies which received more than $10 million from foreign nationals while Joe Biden served as vice president. Joining us now with more is president of the Government Accountability Institute and host of the Drill Down podcast, Peter Schweizer. Always great to see you, Peter. Good morning to you. Great to be with you as always, Jan. Thanks for having me. Of course. And, and you have also done your own investigation and followed the money trail from our foreign adversaries to some of our lawmakers. What did you make of the House investigation and what they revealed? Uh, well, I think it's important, Jan, to point out this is the early stages of their investigation. The research that our organization does is based on corporate records, financial records, that sort of thing. What the House committee has is subpoena power, so they can actually get bank records financial transactions, et cetera. What they've done so far, according to their report, is they've been able to get access to financial transactions from four of what they believe are 12 banks involving uh, Biden entities. So it's the very early stages, but I think it's very encouraging and very troubling because clearly it shows the flow of foreign funds, some $10 million from, let's say, sketchy foreign uh, sources. Uh, at the same time, they demonstrated that the Bidens have set up all of these LLCs, these limited liability companies. They don't really have employees. They don't really have offices. They function more as pass-throughs. So this is starting to establish what appears to be the pattern of financial transactions yeah. that we're talking about. And, and even uh, Comer pointed out that at least two people from China warned that this particular Chinese business venture posed what he said was a potential threat to American national security. So do you think this is an investigation where we will see charges? Uh, it's hard to say. The committee, of course, can't bring charges. They can recommend charges to the Department of Justice. The Department of Justice, of course, is run by the Biden administration. So you have a conflict of interest that exists there. I've always believed that you need to have an independent counsel, somebody to come out from the outside, as we had during the Trump administration, Reagan administration, et cetera. And I think that's called for here. But I do think this committee is going to lay down the predicate for what are very alarming transactions. I mean, do we really want the first family of the United States taking large million dollar payments from China and other foreign adversaries uh, for not really any work that's demonstrated? There's been no demonstration actually what services or, or uh, products or whatever the Bidens are providing in these transactions. And Peter, this also comes at a time when federal prosecutors say they have decided whether or not to charge Hunter Biden. So when do you think we will see what prosecutors have decided? And do you think there will be an indictment? Uh, great question, Jan. I do think we're going to see indictments soon. Of course, I believe that for the last several months. Uh, it seems pretty clearly that Hunter Biden is going to definitely be indicted on tax evasion that is failing to pay taxes on these millions of dollars coming from overseas. Uh, he may face charges on a gun purchase, lying on a gun form, but there's a whole collection of other areas which th where this grand jury has looked. The cases are more complicated, but I believe that's gonna be part of what this congressional committee is gonna look at, which is foreign influence, failing to register as a foreign agent, et cetera, et cetera. So, this is far from over as far as these investigations are concerned or the legal consequences that the Bidens may face. Yeah, as you said, just the beginning, president of the Government Accountability Institute and host of the Drill Down podcast, Peter Schweizer. Thanks for talking to us this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks, Dan.